using water mixable oil paints for panel lining. I can see that. But watercolor pencils? Seem sketchy. Hello everyone and welcome back for another Just the Tip. Today we have some questions to answer. Can I use water mixable oils and watercolor pencils for panel lining? What are some of the pros and cons for using them? And do they measure up to regular oil paints and pre-made panel liners? Let's find out. Can I use water mixable oils and watercolor pencils for panel lining? Yes. Thanks for watching. But water mixable oil paints are still oil paints. The only real difference being that they have been altered so they can be mixed or thinned with water. So you can use them just like regular oils. Having said that, if you mix them with an oil medium or regular oil paints, you will have reversed the alteration that made them water mixable. So they won't be water mixable anymore. Now, watercolor pencils are cool because they can be applied wet or dry, like condoms. So you have options depending on what result you're after. What are the pros and cons of using these? Well, let's start with the water mixable oils. First, they are water mixable. This is both a pro and a con. The benefit is that you can mix it just using water, so you can skip the hazardous fumes associated with mineral spirits. Fumes! <clears throat> the downside, if you are applying these directly over some other water-based product like acrylic paints or watercolor pencil, it could potentially reactivate the paint, so you will need to varnish first. Another advantage to water mixable oils versus normal oil paints, drying time. Water mixable oils dry much faster than standard oil paints, which equates to less time watching paint dry. Now I tested water mixable oils versus normal oils on my sacrificial P47. It was painted using AK third gen acrylics and varnished with Mr. Super Clear, straight from a rattle can. The water mixable oil, it went on almost exactly the same as a normal oil wash, but dried much faster. And you can see the results here. They're pretty much the same. Uh, water mixable on the port wing and regular oils on the starboard wing. I did end up with some staining on the decals in a few spots, but that is down to the lousy job I did on the decals, not the fault of the wash. Let's talk about watercolor pencils now. One big pro of these is options. You can put these on wet or dry and get very different results from the application. And they are quick. If you're putting them down dry, you might be done as soon as you lift the pencil off of the model, depending on what effects you're after. If you do a lousy job applying decals, like I did, and then run a dry watercolor pencil over it, you may tear through the decal, like I did. Now these are water-based, so they come with the same downsides as water mixable oils. But they also come with the same upsides. No nasty fumes, and when they are applied wet, they have a very quick drying time. Now on the subject of drying times, if you wet just the tip, it will be soft and easily damaged. So set it aside and let it fully dry before you put it back into storage. Now, do they measure up to regular oil paints and pre-made panel liners? Well, if you just want to lay down some panel lines quickly and easily and get a sharp result, I think Tamiya's panel liner still wins that contest. It comes prepared with its own fine brush, dries quickly, and can be cleaned up easily with enamel thinners and a cotton bud. 
but what about the end result? Let's take a look. We have two different oils on the wings and watercolor pencils and Tamiya's panel liner on the horizontal stabilizers. In my opinion, very similar results. So what did we learn from this little experiment? Well, we learned that I did a very bad job of putting the decals on this thing. But when it comes to panel lining, well, we learned that you've got options. So what is your favorite panel liner? And have you destroyed any decals recently? Sound off in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please take a moment and sacrifice to the algorithm overlords with a like and a subscribe. And until next time, happy hobbying.